Welcome to Blue Water Supermap, available exclusively from sst-offshore.com. In this episode, we're going to discuss forecasts, one of my favorite tabs in the entire map. Up here along the top, we're going to single left click on forecast. You'll notice that we get a drop down. We're going to start over here with the nautical forecast. The first one is the National Weather Service Coastal and Offshore Forecast. If you single click here, you'll notice that the forecasts fill in. We're going to click on the red X key to close the window. Now you notice here's the, the forecast out 20 nautical miles and then 20 nautical out to 2,000 fathoms. If you stop your mouse anywhere on the map and look down here in the bottom left hand corner, it'll tell you which zone you're in. This particular one is the Hatteras Canyon to Cape Fear. If I go north, it turns to Baltimore Canyon to Hatteras Canyon. If I come in shore, it's coastal waters from Cape Lookout to Surf City. So we're going to go over here and we're going to strike our hand key so that this is active. It's turned green. And then we're going to single left click in the zone that we wish to see. We get a pop-up that contains our coastal waters forecast for that area along with the synopsis. The synopsis is the first part and then the forecast is the second part. We'll do that again for the offshore waters. Here's the synopsis in the first part and the forecast in the second part. And we can do this for any area that we cover. I'll go out here and zoom out so that you can see the areas that we cover. All of these forecasts are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They're updated every 15 minutes. So if you want the latest forecast from the National Weather Service, this is a very easy place to get them. Alright, let's go to our next tab. We're going to go back up and click on Forecast, and we're going to turn off the National Weather Service Coastal and Offshore Forecast. Our next series is GFS, Global Forecasting System, the Global Forecasting System Marine, the ETA NAM and the ETA NAM Marine. Now you might recognize these acronyms if you have been following weather forecasts for a while. These are actual models that are used by the National Weather Service. Well what we're doing is importing those models into Supermap. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to turn on GFS Marine. I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on my little red thing to get that out of the way. And if you notice we have icons all the way up and down the coast. Let's zoom in on my area of interest. In my case, it's North Carolina. Now we're going to go over here and select our hand key so that this is the active, uh, the active tool. And we're going to go up and click one time with the left mouse button on GFS Marine. What we get here is a pop-up. This pop-up contains all of the data coming from the GFS model. It starts right here with our date, November the 20th, November the 21st. The hour, 000306, that's 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., you get the drift. This line here is our temperatures. This line here is our dew points. This line is our wind direction, wind speed, and wind speed at 10 meters. This goes out three days from the 20th through the 23rd. And this is all based on the GFS marine model. I'm going to go back up to weather, oh, excuse me, I'm going to go to forecast, I'm going to turn off GFS Marine, and this is actually my favorite one here, uh, this is the ETA NAM, the North American model, so we're going to turn that on, come over here and we're going to single left click on ETA NAM, need to move my map up here a little bit so that we can see all of it. Once again, here are the data results for the ETA NAM model starting on November the 19th. Here's our dates, 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Hours, temperature, wind direction, wind speed, wind speed at 10 meters. Very simple to use. Alright, that'll do it for those forecasts. Now let's talk about some forecasts that are only available from websites with sst-offshore.com. Wavecast and Reefcast. Wavecast is a great overview tool. What we do with Wavecast is we give you these graphics that show you what's going to be happening in the offshore waters for whatever time period you choose. In my case, let's, let's talk about uh, Thursday at about noon. 
So I click on the Thursday at noon key and we'll wait for it to load. And let's move back over to give us some reference to where we're at here. See, there's Charleston. This is Charleston, South Carolina here. And if I take my mouse key and set it over the top anywhere, you'll notice down at the bottom right here where it says wave heights, the wave heights in this area will be 7 feet. If I move, move it around, let's come in shore just a little bit, the wave height will be 4.5 feet. If I move it around again, you'll see that it will be 3.5 feet. Move it out here into this color, you'll see that it's 8 feet. Now we also include in these the wind barbs. You'll see, you, you can see here that it's going to be blowing 25 knots. Looks like uh, north northwest at 25 knots in this general area. Let me zoom out for you just a little bit so that you can see the rest of this. This is a really great way of watching the storms as they roll up the coast. As you can see what the different wave uh, the different wave heights are doing in different areas you can also see what's coming at you let's go back up here to forecast and I'm going to turn off wavecast but I'm going to turn on view loop I'll move that over here where we can see it and we can actually watch this storm move through the coast It's loading out the 30 images, which is the 30 uh, periods of time in the future that we're looking at the forecast for. There we go. Now, if you watch it progress across the top, this tells you what your time period is. You notice your time and everything and dates are right here. And then you can watch the winds change and the, and the wave heights change. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so we do that for both wave height and wave period. You can go through and check those out if you so choose. Let's talk about ReefCast. ReefCast is simply the best offshore forecasting tool available bar none. There is not a better forecasting tool in existence anywhere. So we're going to turn on ReefCast here. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to close the window. And I'm going to go up here into the offshore waters where I would like a forecast at. And I'm going to single left click about where I'm going to go fishing. And here is our 3 mile by 3 mile forecast. 7 days in advance with wind speed, wind direction, wave height, and wave period. In another episode, I explained how to read these graphs. So I'm not going to go through uh, how to do that here. But So if you want to learn how to read these graphs, if you'll go and watch that video session, you'll be able to see how that's done. But just know that this particular forecast is indeed the best offshore forecasting tool in the world. It does not get any better than this. Now, I've been fishing here for almost 20 years. I've been following this model for almost six years or seven years now. And I can tell you that it, just, it simply doesn't get any better. Now, what's really nifty that I like about ReefCast the most is that I can go out here into the actual area that I'm going fishing. Let's say I'm going fishing tomorrow and I'm going to fish in this area right here. I can go right there and left click one time and I'm going to get a forecast for that exact area. I'm not going to get a forecast out 20 nautical and 20 nautical out to 2,000 fathoms. I'm going to get a forecast for the exact area that I'm going fishing in. And that's what really makes ReefCast such an outstanding product because this forecast is dead on the money to where I want to go. All right, let's go back up and click on, on ReefCast and let's turn that off. Let's go over here to the end and we have two more here. We have Tidal Prediction Stations and we have Salooner Tables. Now, the, the Tidal Prediction Stations are fairly simple. I'll turn them on and close the map. Supermap contains all primary and secondary stations for the entire East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico. And what's really neat about this is that I don't have to be really exact about which station I want. All I need to do is click on the area that I want and it will automatically pull the data from the closest title station to where I click. 
so let's go up here this is around Mohit City and I'm gonna left click one time and we're gonna get a pop-up and right here's our title data for November the 19th on 2008 this plus sign right here is the time this is our, our current position I can go through here and I can change that to any date that I want and this goes out to 2037 so you can see you know that'll handle this for a while all right let me close that like I said uh, this is available for all uh, primary and secondary stations for the entire East Coast and Gulf of Mexico I'll zoom all the way out just to show you how many stations there are there's a bunch of them so if you need tidal data up and down the coast this is where you get it let me go zoom us in back in here clicked on the wrong thing there and zoom us back into North Carolina here and now let's talk about salooner tables I don't know how many of you folks use salooner tables but I'll tell you how I found out about them. It's my wife one year it gave me this really nifty salooner table watch. And I work a headboat in case you know there's some of you out there that don't know me, but I run the Continental Shelf based in Moorhead City, North Carolina, which is a hundred plus foot headboat. And I was watching one day as the fish were coming over the rail and I looked down at my watch and doggone my watch said exactly what you know what time it was was the prime feeding time and sure enough they were coming over the rail. Well, over the course of the summer, uh, we got to talking about it, and it, and it kind of became the inside joke with the crew of what time Davy's Magical Fishing Watch said the fish were going to bite. Well, I got interested in salooner tables, so I went out and wrote the program that that uh, that produces the salooner table charts. So we're going to go out here into the waters where uh, where it is that we fish at, and I'm going to left click one time, and we're going to get a pop up here that has our salooner title our salooner data in it we'll wait for that to load here's the next five days in advance the next seven days in advance we have our, our rating here we have the minor periods and the major periods what time the soon rises sets and transients what time the moon rise sets and transients and what phase it's in what the illumination is and, and a little other data we can also change the date to any date that we want into the future now it, you know especially the hunters and stuff this also works over land so you can you can click back in the end of the land to go see what time the deer are going to be moving and that sort of thing really nifty little tool here I really like the salooner tables uh, if you it, it, if you fish uh, offshore especially bottom fishing you know, I highly recommend them I always like to print them out and take them with me Blue Water Supermap exclusively from SST-Offshore.com.